Uh, watching Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., it just keeps getting better, which yes. surprised the hell out of me because it seemed like it was going to suck. I said to everybody, I was like, you know what? Weed and ensemble things take a while to get their stride. This is the first time they're working in a universe where they didn't make all the rules. Like, it's going to take some time. Got to give it some time. You got to be a little patient. It's going to get better. And everyone's like, no, it sucks, blah, 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 blah. And really? now everyone's like, oh, my God, it got so good. And I'm like, really? It's almost like well, I told you that. No, it did. No, it sucked on purpose. What? No, that's the thing. It sucked on purpose. You're, what do you mean? I mean, like, for example, Ward being how Ward was, he was awful. He was a stereotypical character. I know. Was, I thought that guy just couldn't act. No, and he it turns out he was supposed to be totally boring. Yeah, because yeah, it sucked on purpose. They they tricked us. Well, Ward sucked on purpose. Well, a lot of it did. A lot of the stuff was like very oh this this this, but there was a reason for it. It was brilliant. And Ward still sucks, just now for a reason. Now for a reason. Oh, that <laughs> yeah, but that's good because I like having something I can hate. Yeah, at least I have. An actual reaction to him now, other than oh, that guy, the agent bot's talking again. Yeah, maybe he'll punch something. Yeah, can he be quiet now? Yeah, yeah. I'm even starting to kind of like Hacker Barbie. <laughs> so, we have the news this week, and I can't make sense out of any of it. That's what we're in for this week. Prepare to be confused. A lot. I'm always confused. Let's be honest. No, but this, the world is confusing to me. This is a grand confusion. I'm just telling you. Are we entering a land of confusion? Oh, God. Don't. You just don't. You make, don't make, you make me sad. My job has chosen the two most annoying songs of the Phil Collins catalog to be in rotation on our music. So we've got Land Sus of Confusion. Studio. No, we've got Sue Studio and Easy Lover. <laughs> like, of the entire Phil Collins catalog, those are the fucking songs you picked to represent him? No, clearly they should have put on I Can't Dance. Yeah, that might actually be worse. But yeah, exactly. Susudio, come on. Nobody likes that song. Nobody does. Okay, shall we begin? Let's begin. All right. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You. And as I said, this week makes no sense Crazy. at all. Nothing no, I mean, you people who watch the show goes, does it ever? And sometimes it makes a little sense. Not this week. And I'm going to tell you, our very first story is going to express that in a way that I... I cannot, by my own words alone. This comes from uh, Omaha. And, uh... Bring it over here to the screen. Come on over. Man kisses his way through an Omaha Walgreens... Before licking an employee's head. Like you do. Particularly passionate shopper pecked his way through an Omaha store last week in a series of unrequited encounters with customers and employers. They say a 35-year-old man kissed and groped women and a man inside Walgreens store on April 23rd. The man first went to the photo processing area, then moved on and kissed an employee. Now nine, he grabbed a customer's buttocks for approaching another woman, grabbing her face, saying, hey, baby, kissing her and squeezing her bottom. The woman pushed him away. He continued, I don't see why. Why would she do that? Continued to make his way through the store at 72nd seat in Crown Point Abba, tossing items as he went. At one point, he struggled to open a package, put it down, and tried to kiss yet another woman. The man later jumped over the counter, a male employee stepped in the way, and the man tried to plant a smooch on his face. Well, at least he doesn't discriminate. Shopper was escorted from the store, only to return a few minutes later, take a seat on a counter, and refuse to get down. As he was escorted from the store for the final time, the man licked an employee's head. So... 
somebody needs to not mess with the funky Cole Medina. <laughs> really? Because I was thinking this was more a problem of I'm sexy and I know it. And you're not. It could be both. I just chose to go old school. Yeah, I, I props for not being, you know, homophobic. To try to spread yeah, the spread, right? cool. spread the love to everybody. He was an equal opportunity molester. Yeah. Good job there. But Ooh. maybe just be equal opportunity by not molesting anybody. Maybe equally not molest people. To be working... Maybe don't grab people's asses in public unless they've pre previously given you permission to do so. Zeno says, love potion number 911. Because, you know, there's, there's nothing more annoying when you're trying to buy some toothpaste and an uninvited tongue down your throat. <laughs> the invited ones are fine. You know, you're yes, buying toothpaste. You're just like, pardon me, can you come here and put your tongue in my mouth? Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, that's, a whole, that's a whole different situation. That's just neighborly. But, exactly. But, you know. But an uninvited first. tongue down the throat is just rude. I, I I'm so funny. You know, if you work in retail, it's already sucks bad enough. It's it's already a grind. It's already you're punching a clock and your every second is watched and they don't like and you sitting for some reason. Even if, well, if you can lean, you can clean. But to add, this is you're like dealing with the public and the public is horrible. And this is they don't need this because this is this no. could be that moment that make them go postal. Look, I'm here to tell you, at my job, we got box cutters in the drawer. We're not afraid to use them. You push them that one inch over the edge, and they're like, you know what? Fuck this. A guy just licked my head. I don't need to Apparently put on Apparently I'm distorting. Shit. You're distorting? Okay, well, let me turn you down a little. Turn you down a little. A little bit. Now try. Better? Maybe. Try. After Gotham is destroyed, then you have my permission to die. There we go. Okay, I think that's better. No. Oh, technology. All right, our next one. Y y you know the old joke, hold my beer. It's, it's whenever someone says, hold my beer, something incredibly stupid and dangerous is about to occur. Yes. The female equivalent is, hold my purse means a bitch fight's about to occur. Yeah. Means a lot of hair pulling is about to happen. Normally, you don't say it after, but this guy did. Georgia, drunk driver hits police car, hands cop a beer. Huh. A Georgia man who struck a police car early Saturday was confused when the officer approached his window. Damon Tobias Exum, Exum or Exum? E-X-U-M, not sure how to pronounce that one. 37 of Dunwoody. Exum. Allegedly hander, handed Officer Alvin Rodriguez a beer when asked for his driver's license. Well, that's entirely wrong. <laughs> that's very, very wrong. That's like all the wrong. Sir, unless your name is Paps Blue Ribbon, I need you to step out of the car. We were driving home years ago at like four in the morning. We got pulled over on the Nass Pike <laughs> and my ex-husband just, just because he pulled the wrong card out, handed the cop his credit card. And the cop was like, yes, sir, I don't take that. <laughs> we so don't, don't take Visa. We don't take Discover. Yeah. <laughs> I, at that point, it's just like, was that just sort of a, a resignation? Just like, you know what? Fuck it. I yeah, you know, might give on. up. Let's drink a couple together on the way. Yeah. If 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 I am, I'm going. I know I'm going downtown. I know I know I'm riding in the car with the flashing lights. Let's just hang for a bit while, you know, let's just let's just be bros. <laughs> I, 
It kind of reminds me of those commercials. Have you seen those drunk driving commercials where as the guy opens the window, the car is actually full, full of beer? beer. And pours out? I'm like, why would you need to be driving at that point? You're set. No, you're swimming in beer. I know. Where the fuck are you going? You're already in heaven. I mean, or you're filming a YouTube video of yourself, but you know. Oh my god, do you know, I saw the scariest thing today. It, I should have took it for one of our stories. It was, um, the headline was, Captain America sends dick pic to 16-year-old. Yes. And I thought they meant Chris Evans. <laughs> They and meant your the heart, guy that does Captain America at, like, some theme park. Your heart broke a little bit. Yeah. But I thought they meant Chris Evans. And for, for like, a solid 30 seconds, my heart just stopped beating until the link loaded. And I was like, oh, my God, thank you. It's not my sweet bebu. Uh, because I should be getting dick pics from Chris Evans. Not some 16-year-old bitch. Anyway, has your um has your eight year old nephew he's he's eight right? Yes. Okay. Has he had to do a show and tell at school yet? Oh yes. I I know they do this in America. I don't know if they do this in other countries, but for those of you watching around the world, show and tell is when you're supposed to bring an object from home or you know wherever to school and tell everybody in your class about it. Like it can be something. It kind of helps kids practice public speaking right. and being articulate and you know. Right. Um, and normally it's something like, you know, you bring a toy or you bring a book or you bring a combustion engine. I was a weird kid. But this, while it was informative, I don't think is what the teacher had in mind at all. Grandmother charged after seven-year-old brings heroin school oh chester county woman is facing trout engagement and drug charges after her seven-year-old grandson brought heroin to his elementary school uh officials allege that uh belinsky munion that's her, pauline belinsky munion that's mouthful left the heroin out in her home when she was taking care of her grandchildren and the seven-year-old found the drugs and brought them to his first grade classroom Friday, the elementary teacher learned that a boy had drugs and discovered nine bags of heroin in the boy's pocket. For show and tell today, I brought my grandma special medicine that she says she needs because I cry. <laughs> oh my god, that was, that was horrible. I, okay, I love this kid. I am now in love with this child. Listen to this. The boy initially said he found the heroin in the schoolyard, prosecutor said, but later admitted he brought it from home. He tried to cover for Graham Graham. Good looking out, kid. Good looking out. Oh. Maybe, maybe if you really want to cover for Grandma, you don't bring her snack to school. No. Maybe you just leave her snack at home. That's... Don't... Or don't bring... Don't put... Okay, even at seven, kids will put shit in their mouth. That's just a thing they do. They don't even know they're doing it sometimes. They'll just have, like, a thing in their hand. It'll be in their mouth. They've got, like, Superman halfway down their throat. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm seven. I don't know. Because they don't. But... When I was like seven or eight, our family cat bit me, so I'd get her back. Exactly! Kids do I shit like that. Put her whole paw in my mouth. Well, I didn't bite her heart. It was like, how do you like it? But yeah, it was like, I'll do it to you, kitty. <laughs> Luckily, Just... Pat's a lot nicer than that to his kitty. Don't put, leave the heroin. Don't even have it in the house. Don't, all right, don't do heroin. But don't leave drugs where kids can put them in there. Cause that's... Take one. Don't do heroin. Yeah, take one. Don't do. If you must do heroin. <laughs> don't... don't leave it where the seven-year-old can get it. No shit. Oh, my God. All right. Let's see. Moving right along. 
Yeah, um, sorry, we actually do have to do, you mentioned it, you kind of brought it up early, but we do have to do it. Um, Captain America arrested for texting teen girl photos of his penis. Universal sorry, Studio... I didn't know we were actually doing that, sorry. No. Universal Studio employee who worked in costume as Captain America sent sexually explicit photos and text messages to an underage girl he met at the Florida Amusement Park. Cops Wednesday arrested James Weldon Alton, 29, on a felony charge of transmitting harmful material to a minor. Alton has seen it right, posing in a Universal Studios picture with a visitor. If I can get that off the screen, there he is. Uh, according to the latest affidavit, the 16-year-old girl met Alton several weeks ago at the Orlando Park, where the teen posed for a photo with the costume worker. The girl later posted the photo online, where it was found by Alton, who commented on the photo and began an online Friendship. The girl told Maitland Police Department investigators she initially engaged text with Alton and his friends, but that their communication soon turned explicit. Alton sent the teenager a photo of his penis, as well as text about masturbation and getting into her. Because that's that's an American courtship now. You, you meet someone... An American courtship. Exactly. You meet someone... You exchange numbers, you chill, you hang, you have some coffee, and then then you text each other, then you text each other your genitals. That's the Oh, Captain America the Winter Soldier. Really? You're kind of stretching for that one a little bit. I, I kinda love that. I don't even care. It's a plot by Hydra to discredit discredit our greatest hero. No, no. Yeah. Yes, Omega, it is. Uh, I, I can't even tell you, like, I saw this link, and all it said was Captain America sending dick pics, and I clicked on it, and it opened with, like, something about James Franco, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like, my world is collapsing on itself. And then they're like, the guy from Universal Studios, and I was like, oh my god. Oh, that was a close one. Man, you know what? I take the superhero shit a little serious. Because I'm a geek, and I grew yeah, up Yeah, that's not it. a very Captain America thing to do. That's a Tony Stark thing to do. No, it's not. That's a Robert Downey Jr. Good, good. I'll stop now. That was just for you. Uh, you know, I, I, I understand you're working a minimum wage job as a mascot in an amusement park. I get it. Cool. But if you can't at least have the decorum to wear that uniform and uphold. Because how can you not wear that uniform and not feel a little bit like fucking Captain America? Yes, fucking... Tywin Lannister, it is a Deadpool thing to do. Unfortunately, that is I a Deadpool. think what Deadpool's genitals look like. Because he's pretty much made of cancer, right? Yeah, that's he's his superpower is cancer. Yeah, nobody wants to see that one. No one wants to see that. Just, it... It's, you know, you're wearing it. I, even when I was a kid and I would dress up for Halloween, you know, you, you'd put on the costume and you'd be like, I'm going to be a defender of justice and a good guy. I feel so confident. When I have a rousing discussion about truth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Waiting for people. You people know what I'm talking about. They know, we know. Oh, Loki. Um... But, yeah, I mean, how can you... This really goes back to the simple, the old, the, the, the one of our basic top rules. Nobody wants to see your dick. Nobody unless they specifically ask to. Right. Sometimes, sometimes a girl does want to see your dick. You'll know this. You'll just know. Yeah. You'll know. It's going to be really fucking obvious if a girl wants to see your dick. We're not coy about it. Like, no. You're going to be aware. Yeah. It's just for... At all times, assume no one wants to see your dick. Just assume. You may be wrong. Someone may be dying to see your dick. But just assume otherwise and be pleasantly surprised. At least while you're in public. Yeah. Definitely while you're dealing with minors. Yeah. Okay, so we've, we're now into Florida. Oh, of boy. course. Oh, boy. And... I, you know, I have never done anything. They're still arguing over which superhero would do this. 
<laughs> that is a Captain Hammer thing. That is thing a Captain do. Hammer thing to do, yeah. If Chris Evans did send me a dick pic, what would I do? Well, first I'd hyperventilate and faint. And then I'd probably ask if it's made of vibranium. So you almost, almost there got me into discussing the, the physical properties of a vibranium penis, but we're not going there. We're not going there. <laughs> All right. So have you? I've. I have never actually been in this situation, but I understand it does happen. You're driving along the road, you look over, and there's somebody who's really attractive, but you're driving. It's not exactly like you can wave them down to get their number or anything. You know, it's, you you, you know, th there's not a whole lot you can fucking do except, you know, roll down the window and scream and, you know, you're going the wrong way! No one can really hear you. You're going to kill someone. Yeah. So, I understand you want to be noticed. In fact, I, I fully support the idea of putting, like, little LED scrollers in people's cars so you can tell everyone else on the road exactly what you think of them. That seems like it would cause an accident. <laughs> um, but uh, this, this is a less technological method of enticing someone, but probably not a very smart one. Um, Florida man, I love all these stories that start with Florida man. Florida man drives naked, masturbates in effort to entice trucker. Okay, you sent me a link to Adult Friend Finder? What? Do you not have an ad block on? Okay, the sec- I, I- Always ad on. block. Always ad block. It sent me right to Adult Friend Finder. <laughs> This is why I, I think add that's one. really unprofessional. Blame the site, man. This is why that's I add That's sexual one. harassment, and I don't have to take it. Blame the internet. I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. The internet did it. Mm -hmm. Can we please talk about the pervert on the screen? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one, that one. Okay. Um, now, this yeah. is, okay, the opening line. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. So, now this is autoeroticism. Only I get to make puns like that. But it came from the Huffington Post, so what do you expect? Um, Corey Evans, a 22-year-old from Boca Raton, Florida, was arrested on April 14th by Highway Florida Highway Patrol troopers. They received a call about 12.49 a.m. reporting that Evans was masturbating while driving down Interstate 95. Which is a bad thing to do because if you've ever been on Interstate 95, you know that the fucker is a free-for-all. Speed limit is a suggestion. I don't understand how you can concentrate on both of those things at the same time. Yeah, especially if you're in a manual transmission. Like... If you're doing both of those things, you're not doing either of them well. So what's the point? <laughs> the caller, a semi-truck driver, said that Evans was completely naked behind the wheel and seemed to be matching speed of the rig. Semi-truck uh, semi driver told uh, police that Evans was, quote, seeming to be enticing him. The trooper said Evans was clothed when he pulled him over, but they did note he did have his fly down. What does that mean? Seeming to be enticing him. Eh, 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 I just, it, uh, of all the ways to tell someone I'm into you, this is not a good one at all. No. You can skip this one on Valentine's Day. This might work for, like, bonobo chimps or something. Well, they shouldn't be driving either. No, they <laughs> What, are you kidding? Chimps driving is hilarious. That's an awesome thing, having a chimp driving. They should definitely not be driving and masturbating at the same time. No. But, you know, 
just just to that's there are many ways to say I like you I'm into you I dig you whipping it out and going to town at set at 80 miles an hour is I not mean, to be fair, that is a way that is a method that does make your message clear but but no one wants to see your dick no you, you save that for maybe the third day, I guess. High speed masturbation is the third date now? <laughs> <laughs> what, have they moved it up these days? Damn these kids! Man, I'm really out of touch. <laughs> what face is that? Uh, now, here's the problem if it was a manual transmission, imagine if he got confused while he's doing it and he tried to shift the wrong thing. Well, I mean, you're just going to move it. Oh, I know. You have to jam that fucker into position. <laughs> that could cause some discomfort. Why isn't it clicking into... Pl oh, duh. Well, you might hear a snap. <laughs> then you're probably running off the road. Yeah. And our final story tonight is also from Florida. And it makes, I say this so often, I dare you to make less sense, because this happens. This is, this is what I do. This is what we do, Tara. This is. Yes, it is. Uh, you're, you're sitting there going, what is it? I'm, I'm just like, everything came together at once here. It was, this was a perfect storm. And this this is just Florida writ large. You know, people say, why do you keep ripping on Florida? Why do you give... It's, oh, ha, ha, it's a joke. Florida is crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Florida homeowner terrorized as naked man climbs to their roof and acts, quote, crazy. What, what counts as crazy? Well, uh, George Matthew Bruni broke into the North Look Fort Myers. Oh, he's so happy about it, too. He's so happy. Look at him. He's a happy guy. Um. Oh, this... well, okay. A traveling carnival worker. Yeah, he's a carny! Like I said, perfect storm! Smell like cabbage. Small hands. Broke in the North Fort Myers home and destroyed the family's TV before masturbating in the living room. He also defecated near the front door in the hallway. He was then taken to the Lee Memorial Hospital and... Oh, but the people living there contributed to it because uh, once he was inside Tony Land, Tony and LaDonna Land are the people who live there, get the gun, Tony Land yelled to his wife. Mrs. Land, a fear for herself and husband's safe, he fired three rounds from her 38 revolver and all three missed. But after being shot at, then he began to masturbate. I mean, that doesn't do it for you? I just don't. What is this? He also had to be tased so that he wouldn't. Once deputies arrived, Rudy was incoherent, flailing the ground. At one point, he spilled water from a wet-dry vacuum, sucked it up with his mouth, and then spat it out. I told you! Everything! In a final foul discovery, deputies say, Rooney defecated near the front door the hallway when he first broke it. Because, you know, if you're going to be going on a crazy rampage, you don't want to be bunched up. You, you want to be, you know, you don't want to feel constricted. I don't like this person. Amazingly, Bruni was initially found to be under the influence. Wasn't. All right, listen to this. Bruni wasn't initially found to be under the influence of controlled substance, although that status could change. And everybody's going, what was he on? How does that change? It's possible he was on nothing. And if anyone out there is going, well, give this guy the benefit of it. Give him a break. You know, people be on drugs. 
I'm going to show you the greatest defense. Scroll, you can scroll down and see it too. Um, this is another picture of him. See what he's wearing on his head? There's no excuse for that. There's, there's none. There's he's no a carny. He's a carny. They're not like other people. I hate to generalize, but this is not doing the carny community any favors. Maybe he was trying out a new act. <laughs> the aristocrats! <laughs> Maybe this is going to be in the haunted house at that carnival. Because, <sighs> you know, people are tough to scare these days. The A. Scott Jr., that's fedorable. <laughs> You're going to hell. You were officially going to hell. Oh, people are mad at you. Well, they can still be. They can be mad at me all I want. It doesn't stop it from being true. Folks, we just have to give up ground on this one. The dickheads have destroyed the hat. We need to find new and better hats that they will not destroy. I think we should bring back the pillbox. I don't know. The pork pie was pretty good. Walter White was rocking. I think that's like a level douchier than the it fedora. Is. Walter White was rocking the port pie. And that's why, because every fucking douchebag who thought he was Walter White. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, that's true. true. Started wearing that shit. And they're like, say my name. And they're like, fuck you, buddy. And of course... Do you, do you have cancer? Do you cook meth? No? Shut the fuck up. Of course, I would be remiss if I didn't mention once again, he did all this in the nude. Just... All of the things at once. How does this happen? There's something about... People are like, oh, you get flirty shit. There's something... Mike would like you to know that it's actually a trilby, not a fedora. It doesn't matter. They've ruined it, man. You gotta understand. Yeah, it was noble in its day. It was important. It was good. I know. But they, they've taken it from us. You know, we should go back to the bowler. Yeah, the bowler is cool. I can go to the bowler. I can go to the bowler. That was a cool hat. Next week, work. you and I should both wear bowlers. I don't know where I'd get a bowler. Uh, who said no hot top hats? No, no, top hats. Well, that's... Those that's, are a little unwieldy for yeah. daily life. Yeah. But, uh... The Fez. Eh. I have a big floppy hat. I call it my Florence Welch hat. I had to buy it because it was five dollars. I've never worn it. We just I'm not Florence Welch. I'm not that cool. Well, I guess, I guess the first thing we learned this week is I don't know what we learned from that story. Did did we learn anything? Lock your doors. Lock your fucking door. Also, the guy's lucky she was a terrible shot. Yes. Yeah. And I guess he really was better lucky than because... Keeping, the, better than keeping a handgun in the house for intruders. Just keep a net. Yeah. Like one of those net shooting guns they have in cartoons. Yeah. Just get one of those. Much more effective. Although, and you uh, don't even need to be a good shot. I, I guess he really was lucky because the minute she started shooting at him and missed, he started jerking off. So. Yeah. Hard to do that in a net. See? This should be the new movement in America. Fuck handguns. Net guns. Be a much safer country. We learned this week that there are many ways to get across your intent to your intended, but just showing them your dick is not one of them. No one wants to see your penis. Yeah. No one. Now statistics. You know what's sad is I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure if the opposite is true. Like, yeah. I feel like if you sent unsolicited new shots to a dude, he'd kind of be okay with it. Yeah. We suck that way. And most especially, if you're going to wear the uniform, conduct yourself properly. Damn right. Do not impugn the name of Chris Evans. Don't scare me like that.
What? It was traumatizing. We learned that you keep your drugs away from your kids or else they're going to, you know, share. Keep those with the rest of your meds, Grandma, and your little pill sorter. Monday is a diabetes pills, uh, Tuesday is for my hip, and Wednesday is for my happy time. <sighs> We've learned that when a police officer asks you for proper identification, unless your name is, in fact, Budweiser. Or Sam Adams. Or Sam Adams. Yeah, there's another one. Don't hand him your beer. I promise no. you, it's going to be all downhill from there. As if it wasn't bad enough anyway. And finally, we've learned... <laughs> you can love people sometimes, but just don't love people. Yeah. I mean, my God. <laughs> Maybe just offer free hugs. Offer, not force. Yeah. Would you like a hug? Would you like a hug? No. Okay. No, have well, a nice. Jolly good. Have a nice day. Yeah. Don't. Don't. Don't immediately go to the tongue. That's. that's... Yeah. Maybe you don't lick people. Nobody wants unsolicited dicks or licks. If it ends in ick, ask her. It's like we're trying to find it. It's like I before E except after C. We're trying to find the grammar rules of stupidity. 